and here we go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Rack. I'm Geneva. I'm Sarah. So it is, what, Golden Globe season? Oh, it was yesterday. Yesterday, mm -hmm. from this viewing. And then Ooh. something was trending, the opening monologue. Mm. They say it's uncomfortable yeah. to a lot of viewers. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch it. I you just didn't... heard what people were saying. Okay, so you haven't seen it? No, not the video. What okay, okay. Not I the monologue. I didn't even know there was Golden Globes or whatever. Yeah, so yeah, me I mean, yesterday or whatever. <laughs> or whatever day it was. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So, Fresh, blind. So it will be, I guess, uncomfortable content. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're just coming off another uncomfortable content, mm -hmm. which was of uh, Club Shay Shay and Cat Williams. Mm -hmm. He was uh, spilling some tea. Truths. Truths. A lot. A lot. Yeah. A lot. So just a portion of it. So have you, if you haven't checked that out yet, we do have that uploaded. Worth watching. Yep. So now we're on to the next uncomfortable content, from what I hear, from what the internet is saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. it's Joe Coy. He's the host. Hosting. Hosting. The Golden Globe. And this is opening monologue. Yay. So we ready. Um, I <laughs> am nervous. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe. Also hit the notification bell. Alrighty. And here we go. Welcome to the 81st annual Golden Globes. I'm your host, Joe Coy. Pretty oh, look, I'm just taking this all in. Let me look, look around. I'm taking this all in. I'm so excited to be here. Um, this is a dream come true, not just for me, but for everybody in here. We all dreamt of this moment. And look at this. Look at this room. Look around. I mean, like, like look around. Look, Kevin Costner's here. Kevin Costner's here. Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner's never here. <gasps> Kevin's like in a mountain with a cow or something. But today he's here. <laughs> Don Cheadle's here. Uh, I'm just looking Don around. Cheadle's. Everybody's here. Like, this is a good night. And I got the best seat in the house. Mm. When I was a kid growing up, I used to watch this show, and I would stay up late with my family, just trying to guess who would win. And every time, my mom would say, it's Meryl Streep, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> who else is going to win? She wins every time. And she was right. You do. You win all the time. That's why when the Golden Globes called me and asked me if I wanted to host, I jumped to the chance and I said, yes, yes. And then they asked me if I saw every movie and every TV show, and then I said, yes. <laughs> I lied. Mm. Oh. I only watched Beef. I love you, Beef. Ali. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good you know, show, it's right? mandatory. I'm Asian. Yes. But not only that, it killed. You killed it, Ali. Um, but, but anyway, I, I, I'm sorry. I just, uh, I just I'm going to tell you that the minute I signed the contract, I did. I locked myself in the room and I started to binge watch everything. I watched everything while my family was out there clanking champagne glasses and, and ringing in the new year. Dude, oh I, my gosh. I was watching Oppenheimer. <laughs> I loved Oppenheimer. I loved Oppenheimer. I just, I just got one complaint. Oh. Needed another hour. Oh, it was a long movie, huh? So I felt like it needed some more backstory. <laughs> My New Year's resolution for 2024 is to finish Oppenheimer in 2025. Mm. Like seriously, it's, I'm almost there. Amazing. I love Oppenheimer, it's, especially the first season. <laughs> Hello, oh, Chris Nolan. That's so stupid. As a director. Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer answered a lifelong question that's been on my I mind for years. It. Yes, scientists do get laid. As long as they look like Killian Murphy. Oh! Oppenheimer and Barbie are competing for cinematic box office achievement. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oppenheimer is based on a 721 page Pulitzer Prize winning book about the Manhattan Project. And Barbie is on a plastic doll with big boobies. Uh. I watched Barbie, I loved it, I really did love it. Um, Uncomfortable? I, I don't want you guys to think that I'm a creep, but a, it was kind of weird being attracted to a plastic doll. Okay. It's just something about your eyes, Ryan. Ryan. Mm. <laughs> oh. Crickets? Um. Close your eyes, Ryan. Everyone just looks into your eyes. And, and Margo, it's not always about you. Ooh. <laughs> the key moment in Barbie is it. when she goes from perfect beauty to bad breath, cellulite, and flat feet. Ah, or what casting directors call character actor. <laughs> oh. 
some I wrote, some other people wrote. Robert uh, De Niro's here. Oh my. Yo, I got the gig 10 days ago. He's you not even laughing. Monologue? De Niro's Yo, not even shut laughing. Shut up. You got, you're kidding me, right? Slow down. I wrote some of these and they're the ones you're laughing at. Look. Wow. <laughs> Robert De Niro's here. I'm sorry, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm fanning out. I love you, Robert. Okay, if it's awkward, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to do that in front of you. I know it sucks. Um, uh, I'm a bit awestruck. This guy's amazing. Decade after decade. He um, just kills it every single time. I don't know how you do it, man. Okay. Swear to God. Your last performance has got to be your greatest performance ever. How'd you get her pregnant at 80? What the heck? What? CGI! CGI? Uh, what? It's probably like a movie that he was yeah. in. Is he looking? Is he looking? Is he looking? You talking to me? He's laughing at least. By the way, Killers of the Flower Moon is so great. Killers of the Flower Moon, the cast is here. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, Robert De Niro. De Niro. Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, Lily Gladstone, you guys crushed it. He's just naming names now. Crushed it. The one thing I learned about that movie is that white people stole everything. You guys stole everything. Not like 97%. You guys stole 100% of everything. Oh, okay. You took the land. You took the oil. You took the premise of the movie. Yeah. Oh. Nice. What? That was your premise? Um, um, That's hilarious. I don't care. It's um, just that the room is really white. Um, oh. The room's like, yeah, we did take it. And? Um, <laughs> I watched Saltburn. Oh, Saltburn. I watched Saltburn. <laughs> you know what I loved about Saltburn? I learned that satanic families have feelings too. No. Oh. Barry Keoghan here. Is Barry Keoghan? Where's Barry Keoghan seated? It's all over. Where? He's Where's hiding. Oh, oh, right. He's Where's your penis seated? <gasps> oh. Down front? <laughs> that was the real star of the show. That was the real star of the show. Barry Keoghan's penis. If you haven't seen Saltburn, if you haven't seen Saltburn, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. So watch it. Then you'll understand what I was talking about. And then right after that, watch Barbie. And then oh. you're gonna be like, something, something's missing. Okay. And then watch Maestro, and you'll be like, oh, there it is. It's on Bradley Cooper's face. Oh. What? Bradley Cooper. That's hilarious. It's mad. I was watching Maestro. I was like, that thing was dancing in Saltburn. <laughs> Daniel Brooks is Danielle Brooks. Where's Daniel Brooks? Daniel Brooks is here. Fantasia's here. Where's Fantasia? Oh, Coleman Domingo. He's bringing energy. All in the color purple. By the way, the color purple oh, is God. also what happens to your butt when you take Ozempic. <laughs> the room, half the room is cringing, and the other half is like, I gotta get home and grab my selfie stick. He's going to be home after the Globes. Man, he was lying. <laughs> More of a magenta. Uh, I love this year's nominated TV shows like Succession. Mm -hmm. Succession is coming to an end after four beautiful seasons. I loved it. I loved everything about it. The one thing that this show taught me is if you're a billionaire, pull out. <laughs> I've never seen that. None of them are going to be like you. Oh. They're going to be a bad version of you. Just pull out. There's billionaires in here. Pull out. Upstairs, wherever. Just pull. What? Why is this? Leave it in. Whatever. Succession like has nine nominations. And, a, and I just want to. Wow, that's. Really? He that's could it? tell he's. But you got bombing. more? He's bombing. He's like clapping like nine, really? Just a great series about a I... rich, white, dysfunctional family, all scheming. Oh no, that's the crown. That's the crown. I'm sorry. The How great was Melda Staunton in the crown? Wasn't um... she amazing? <laughs> the portrayal of the queen was so good. Prince Harry called her for, and asked her for money. Like I said, I didn't write all these. <laughs> that one's not mine. Uh, turns out Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will still get paid millions of dollars for doing absolutely nothing. And that's just by Netflix. Oh. I 
I have a deal too, chill. You guys are acting like, only murderers are in the building? Mm -hmm. Oh, I want it to end. Five nominations tonight? I want it to end. On that show, you don't know whose side to be on. <laughs> That's how I feel about Daryl Hall and John Oates. They're in a court battle. Which oh. one is Oates? Is it the one with the thick mustache or the, the hot blonde girl? <laughs> Speaking of blondes, Meryl Streep. Oh, she she's like, no, do it! Favorite right there. Not to me! Meryl Streep is nominated for a Golden Globe tonight. Really? Mm -hmm. Only murders. Oh, she was in Only Murders. Duh. She's not coming to an award show unless she gives a nomination. Um, She's got 34 in. nominations. This woman, there's nothing she can't do. This is the greatest of all time. That's the GOAT right there. Doesn't matter what she plays, she kills it. She does have a lot yeah. of My mom good. loves you. Okay. Everybody loves you, Meryl. You know my favorite line from you? Oh, Legendary. No. This one I hold in my heart. I say it all over. The, like every time, the way you said it, it just, it just stuck with me. The way you said, Wakanda forever. Wait. Is it, is it, it's brilliant. Do it again. Like, you better cross, cross, cross. No. Wakanda forever. Do it. Yes. Yeah. That's it. What the fuck is going on? What the Speaking fuck? Speaking of Wakanda forever, here's going... some hints about our first presenter. On. I'm going to give you some hints. You ready? No. Think all powerful, beloved by the people she rules over, a regal queen. Oh, God. Oprah, it's not about you. It's not, it's not you. It's, Oprah, it's not about you. It's a different queen. It's, fine, it's yeah. Angela Bassett. Please Angela welcome Bassett. Golden Globe winner, star of 911, Angela Bassett, and the Golden Globe winner who likes to be, who I like to call hot Jesus, Jared Leto. <laughs> wow. Oh. Well, here's the thing. This dude forgot where he was. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'll put it this way. I think that he was trying to do a, a comedy show. That's exactly what yeah. he was doing. He got was, up there and acted the exact way he does on his specials. That's not where you were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how I. It was like awkward. And I think he figured that out. Yeah, midway through. That's why he just Very quickly. <laughs> yeah, it's a bummer. So, yeah, it's been trending also since. Yeah. It aired. What are they saying? No, it's just his jokes towards Barbie, and then Taylor Swift was there too. So he was like, the difference between Golden Globes and NFL is that the Golden Globes don't focus on Taylor Swift much. Oh, of is it other they're not part of the monologue, right? But yeah, it was something else. Like he saw Taylor Swift. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then Selena Gomez was just like, mm, like cringing, and then Taylor's just like. Just like the the facial just says it all. Yeah, everyone kind of like. Yeah. Yeah, it's not his best performance on stage. <laughs> I think. Right? I mean, yeah. I mean, I just say he forgot where he was. Yeah. He might. Yeah, because when I was watching, I'm like, dude, it's like he's doing his stand up bit. Exact faces. But exact he's. Energy. It's a different setting. Yeah. Yeah. Not the crowd. No. Yeah. He talked. He literally held a fake mirror under his bum. <laughs> so. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not in that right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like we said, we knew we were going to get to an uncomfortable, yeah. you know, content. I feel bad for him because, yeah. you know, that probably really was an exciting moment. And yeah, he's probably point. regretting the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, unfortunate. Yeah, when yeah. Who the hell approved all that shit? When he must practice, right? Rehearse. <laughs> I mean, they know he's an entertainer. I, you know, it's... Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I was excited he, when he was announced that he was going to do the hosting for the Golden Globes, and then now it's just like, yeah, yeah. awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So let's go. Time to move on to the next. So that was Joe Coy opening monologue for the 81st annual Golden Globe. Mm -hmm. Not a comedy special. Nope. Not a Netflix special. Oh, like yeah. So he was at the wrong place. Yes. At the wrong time. Wrong right. Time. Wrong show. So. Yep, if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe, also hit the notification bell, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.